Welcome back, everybody. In this Blender video, we are going to look at how to animate the camera, basically make it move around. And whatever the camera sees, that's going to end up generating a video of my object or my model. Now, what you need to start is you need a model. I'm just going to use the cube. And you need a camera in the world. Later on, I'll show you how to do it if you have more than one camera. So here's one thing you have to know before we start. When you have your camera, if you ever want to know what it's looking at, you hit zero on the numpad, and that's what happens. And then you press zero on the number pad again, and it comes out. If you don't have a number pad, you can also go view, camera, view, camera. Okay, so let's get started. The first sequence I want to do is I want it to be the camera panning the cube left to right, and it looking good. So what I'm going to do is I want the camera to start somewhere down here. So that's going to be my first step, is I want to move the camera in the world sort of to the same height, but I want it to be over to the side. So let's put it right here, and that should be a good place to start. Now the angle of the camera, it's really weird. What I'd like to do is get the camera looking straight forward, so over towards where my cursor is. An easy way to do this is to reset the rotation and then rotate the camera. So I reset the rotation by going Alt-R. You'll see that resets the rotation, so the camera's actually facing down right now. Okay, so now let me rotate it on the Y axis. So I hit R, Y, and I type 90. 9, 0. Perfect. Hit Enter. We're almost there. The camera's facing the right way, but it's tilted to the side. That's the top of the camera. So what I want to do now is rotate it on the x-axis. So R, X, 9, 0, Enter. Perfect. Now when I zoom in to my camera view, I can see what it's looking at. Okay, good start. <clears throat> now let's start the animation process. I'm just going to extend this window here a little bit. See where my cursor is? I just want this thing down here. <coughs> This is the timeline. You can see it here in this menu. It's the timeline. The timeline is basically telling you the frames. Okay, and you can use the mouse wheel and roll it. This is basically telling you frames, and it's about 30 frames per second, the way we're going to be doing it. So when you get to 30, you'll see here I'm on frame 30. That's about one second, and frame 60 would be about two seconds. Okay, et cetera, et cetera. What I want to do is be on frame one. So if you want, you can even just type one in here to make it easy. And I want to put the camera where it should be in frame one. And let's say I like it right there. Okay, that's perfect. What I want to do is I want to record the rotation and the location of the camera on frame one. This is how you do it. Go to this thing here. This tells the program what it should record. We're just doing simple stuff here. We're going to use location, rotation. Now, that's one set. Once I set it once, you won't set that again. The next thing I do is I want to save this special time and space. I'm on frame one. I want to save this frame, and I do it by hitting this thing here, key. And the symbol's a key because it represents a key frame. So when I hit it, you may notice that a yellow bar appeared here. That's letting me know that frame one is now a keyframe. And a keyframe means the program's remembering. Frame one, that's where that camera is, okay? Now what I do is I just want to go further in time. So you can actually left click with the mouse here and go further in time. Let me go all the way up to 150. And while I'm on frame 150, pick up the camera, move it where you want it, you can hit the zero just to check. Yeah, I've gone far enough. That's pretty good. And let's make it a keyframe. So hit the key. And you'll see you get a keyframe on frame 150. So what I have here is I have a keyframe on frame one. I have a keyframe on 150. And the program, if you left click with the mouse and just drag, the program fills in all the spots between. And we have our animation. If you want to see your animation play, you can hit a little rewind button here, hit the play button, and you can watch your camera animate. 
Now, what's the camera scene? Well, let's just go back to our window here. Let's rewind. Let's hit zero. That's what the camera sees, and let's do our play. So I didn't quite have the height right, but you get the idea. I basically have the cube. Now, what I can always do at any point in time is you can go back and edit a keyframe. So I'm back to frame one again. Maybe I decide, move the camera down a bit. And maybe I go over and hit keyframe and go to frame 150. Make sure it's exactly 150. I'll move the camera down a bit and hit keyframe. It re-records that keyframe. Now when I go and play my video, I think it should be pretty good. Rewind, play. And look at that, not bad for a quick job. And that's going to become my video. <clears throat> when I do want to make my video, which is going to be a different tutorial that I do for you, you're going to get to say, make a video out of frame 10 to frame 130. Or you might want to say, you want frame 0 to 150. But that's going to be called rendering the video. We'll show you that another time. But that's the basic idea here between making keyframe animation of the camera. Now, just a few little extras while we're here. You're not limited to two keyframes. If you want, I could jump to frame 200. I could raise the camera up. I can move it over here. I could even rotate it on the Y axis. And I could hit save that. Now, remember, I'm on frame 200 now. So save it. And now the camera goes from A to B, that keyframe. And now it starts its journey to the third keyframe. Now, who knows what that looks like? Let's give it a go. And so you can have as many keyframes as you want. Now, for our little introduction beginner stuff with what we're doing, we're just going to be using one or two or three keyframes in a sequence. Uh, when you render, you can decide just to take this chunk if you want it. So one camera can get you several video clips if you want. That's the basics. If you mess up, uh, let's say you don't like this keyframe here, just take that keyframe and hit clear keyframe. That keyframe is now out of the picture. Now it just goes from this one and it goes up to that one. Hopefully that gives you an idea how this works. Uh, good luck doing it. The next video I'm going to show you how do you add a second camera to get different views and how to lock the camera so it stares at the cube as it passes by, so it tracks it. Thanks for watching.